Good morning and welcome to my Thursday and I've just got up so excuse the dishevelled appearance I'm literally in my pyjamas just fell out of bed don't know why I just feel extra tired these last couple of nights and mornings but anyway I have lots and lots to do today and it's nearly all home based again I'm having a bit of a boring week to be perfectly honest with you there's loads and loads of admin every day I've got I've got tasks to do again today and I haven't edited the video from yesterday yet I made a start but because my boyfriend was here I wanted to spend some time with him so what we did last night is we had a little walk together ended up being Tesco's and ended up getting trifle so the calories were burnt off in the walk it just got totally you know trashed by having trifle at the end of it he went through that new account spreadsheet with me as well and tweaked it a bit for my personalized needs that sort of thing and we watched a bit of tally and then it was time for bed but i'm gonna wake up now and get to it basically i'm running a bath i know i do keep a bit of a funny schedule compared to most human beings but anyway i spent the last two hours working on the vlog which is now exporting ready for tonight i'm doing a thumbnail and i've eaten my breakfast which took me eight minutes to eat because i know so i was watching a vlog and i paused it on the eight minutes mark when i finished to watch the rest later because <laughs> i needed to get back to work anyway I have a quick bath and hair wash get dressed and get back to work on that again i'm thinking i could be running a wash load while i'm in that bath Ah ha ha ha! Nearly got me, but not this time. <laughs> oh, it's a mask, a disposable one though. Masks do have a habit of turning up in pockets, I find. I'm just going to do my 28 minute cycle. Something weird about this washing machine, I have to repeatedly press the start button until the little wash symbol comes on like that, and now it'll work. Don't know why, my boyfriend's one is the same. I am a hungry girl today, I've had my bath, hair wash, got the vlog up, and I'm not getting my flute out until I've had some lunch, and I was so happy about the success yesterday of just topping up my leftover food with some frozen veg for a quick fix. I'm doing it again, exactly the same things, just frozen broad beans and frozen mushrooms, so they're gonna kind of come to a nice hot temperature there while I'm doing other things. Other things being ugh, hanging that out. Here's a random fact that you probably don't know about me. I deliberately usually keep my washing basket over there even though I'm hanging stuff out over here because I have to keep going backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and it's just a little bit of exercise. <laughs> Every little helps, I think. I do this kind of thing in lots of other ways. I suddenly think like, oh, I'll take the stairs, you know, instead of the lift in a shop and things like that. Just, just oh, let's just be active throughout the day where opportunities present themselves. This is how I've raised Isabel to be as well when I was home at dinner as well, like rather than, now we're doing PE, now we're sitting still for the rest of the time when we're not exercising. It's like, just, just try and incorporate it, you know, walk where we can and take stairs where we can. Just make things that little bit more energy requiring because it's awfully sedentary, modern life. Well, it can be, depends on what you do. Like when I was working those days in the office with IB, which I haven't done for a while, my step count was so low. There was just, it was so sedentary. I was thinking, no wonder. People find it very difficult to be fit because this is what modern life makes us like. That is done. And the other thing I need to do is charge up my wireless transmitter receiver set for a gig tomorrow night. I have to put it in my diary to do or I forget it. But luckily I check my diary a lot. Well, I say luck, obviously. I choose to do it every day. Last thing before bed usually, just so I know what I've got coming up the next morning. Feel a bit more secure, you know, going off to sleep, knowing what's coming up. And meanwhile, that is more than ready and I took it off the heat a minute or two ago. And if you're wondering why it looks creamy, it's because it's got cream in it. I do not know what is the matter with me today. I am hungry. I've yawned that. And now I'm sniffing around for more food and I happen to know there's trifle in the fridge and I can't get the thought of it out of my mind. Trifle. Somebody's had a bit already. Last night. Wasn't me, actually. Oops, a daisy. A short amount of time later and I'm finally no longer hungry. I've got an annoying thing to sort out now. One of the wooden spoons slumped down and obscured the, you know, rotary thingy. So some of this stuff is nice and clean and some of it's a bit grubby and we'll have to go through again. Right, take two then. It's practice time now, so this is me for the next hour. I couldn't 
remember yesterday. Every time I got to that bit of the chair, I was like, Duh, what is it? <laughs> so I used to play it for years and then the pandemic happened and I didn't play it for years and then I got to the gig a couple of weeks ago and every time I got to that bit, I just had to make something up because I couldn't remember that bit. Anyway, I've got it now. Yay. I am about 40 minutes into my practice now and I just want to tell you about a phenomenon that I experience occasionally when I am practicing. This is what happens. I start practicing one thing on the list, you know, really honing in on the little nitty gritty bits that are a little bit tricky to do in perfect timing, you know, playing them over and over and over and over. And then I go into a bit of a daze. My mind starts to drift. The things are still practicing the bits, you know, most metronomically. And I start thinking about, hmm, booking a holiday next year. I wonder what I'll have for tea. Oh, so on and so forth. And then I realize I'm playing a different tune. <laughs> And in this case, that this just happened to me, and in this case it was the one before, that I was practicing before. I somehow went back into it again whilst practicing the nitty gritty bits. I don't know how this happens. Anyway, just thought I'd share that. I'm gonna get back to it. Well, I've done an hour and I haven't finished. I haven't gone through all the repertoire yet. Now tomorrow, I either just wanna do technical exercises on the flute or not play at all during the day before the gig because I wanna have a rest. And if I don't play it the day before, then it's fresher to me then on the night and I enjoy playing it more than if it's like, oh, not this again. You know, do you know what I mean? You can get stale with things if you over practice them. So that's why I don't like to practice them the very day before. I'm gonna make a cup of tea, just take a little five minute break and then go down and try and just get right through the list. But I found another load yesterday that I hadn't even played since the pandemic, but luckily most of them are quite simple. Oh well, I'm putting off the other things that I need to do. I've got more paperwork to do. It's not normally like this. I've just got an intense week or intense two weeks. I've got a big cluster of gigs that just need a lot of paperwork doing for and I don't normally at all, so it's very unusual. Oh, that's done. It's been busy while I've been busy. Hopefully it's clean this time because uh, I've got more stuff ready to go in. Can you believe I'm eating again? Little satsuma this time. I don't know what's the matter with me at the moment. I'm just hungry permanently. <laughs> I'm just having a quick sit down for five minutes and doing a lesson on Duolingo while my cup of tea is steeping. Ah. Uh... Got that one wrong. I keep coming a cropper on these questions. They say, type this in English and it'll be like, you know, something, something, Senorita Perez. And I keep writing Senorita and it's supposed to be Miss, but I just think of it as her name. <sighs> anyway. Usted. No, that can't be right. Yes, it is. Ooh. Yes, it is. Yeah. I'm really enjoying Duolingo, but the reason I've got a sad tone in my voice is I am absolutely sure I'm learning the wrong sort of Spanish for Spain. I think I'm learning South American Spanish and I don't know how different it is to the Spanish Spanish because I know that Brazilian Portuguese is very different to the Portuguese of Portugal and you can't learn that on Duolingo. You have to get that from Memrise. So I think I might have to switch to Memrise and I don't want to because I really like Duolingo. <laughs> I'm really enjoying it. Oh, any advice from Spanish speakers out there? Am I making difficulties for myself somewhere down the line? That's what I want to know. Well, that tea looks good and strong now then, doesn't it? Oh, yes. People tell me I have my coffee very strong, and I actually do, yes. I have it very strong. It's mostly decaf, to be honest, but it probably looks even stronger than it is because it's non-dairy milk, and it doesn't quite go the same lightness of the cow's milk, if you know what I mean. And all the tea I drink at home is decaf. It looks like it isn't because I have it in a tin, which was from another brand of tea. <laughs> but this is Yorkshire tea decaf, my favorite. While I think of it, you might want a little update on my daughter's skin infection because that's kind of what yesterday's vlog <laughs> ended up being about mostly. She's okay, she's all right in herself. She said it is itching. So I think it's, it's probably on the mend. She's keeping it mostly covered because if it's not covered, she just wants to scratch at it. So she's keeping it covered with a, a like a sterile dressing and changing it quite a lot. Anyway, that seems to be going all right. I need to get back to work anyway, but do you know what? I start to feel a bit like, you know when you do cross country and when you're a kid in the cold weather and your lungs go a bit sort of sore. <laughs> I get that sometimes from playing the flute a lot, like for lots of hours. I mean, I've only done an hour, but it was quite intensive. Uh, not a lot of coming up for air, you know. <laughs> and they're starting to go like that. So I definitely would like a day of practicing tomorrow and just go straight to the gig in the evening. So yeah, I'm gonna try and get everything done and then not even play at all, not even do technique or anything tomorrow. That's what I'd like to do. And it'll free me up to get other things tied up and finished off before the weekend then tomorrow. It is 20 past four. I am getting really tired now. I need to stop practicing and I haven't got through it all. The thing is with Kaylee repertoire is you have to have a lot more at your disposal than you're actually going to play because it all depends on what the caller wants to call on the night. So they'll say, can we please have a set of 32 bar jigs please? And so we have a number of those to choose from and we have different 
different sorts as well, you know, polkas, marches, hornpipes, will says this sort of thing. I just can't get through it all. <laughs> it's because I've been spending too long on the individual tunes throughout the week. This is what's happened. I haven't said, right, these are the hours available. This is how many tunes I have to practice. I should divide all that time by this number of tunes, then I'll know how many minutes I can allocate to each one. The thing is, some of them are fly through because they're easy and some of them need a lot more work so it doesn't really work out like that but that is a surefire way to know you are going to fit it all in in your week but anyway I haven't and I'm too tired to do any more I think I'm just going to have to do some tomorrow and I've come across one now and I just can't even remember how it goes I haven't played it since before the pandemic but it's on a CD somewhere so I'm going to find it tomorrow I have emerged I'm going to have a snack and a break now for half an hour or something like that I'm going to watch a vlog and just relax and not do anything intellectual or physically challenging and then get on with some of the office -y stuff I'm probably going to have a couple of squares of that white chocolate well maybe four squares of the white chocolate and a packet of frazzles or something like that well I had a break for half an hour or so and then I answered a couple of emails and now I'm just tired and I'm really hungry and I need to start cooking my dinner so just going through my diary, crossing off some things that I just didn't get done today and putting them onto tomorrow because I have had enough today. <laughs> Dinner is going to involve rice because I cunningly cooked extra yesterday. Dinner's looking quite green so far. I used up the rest of the tofu. There's half a green pepper, a bit of broccoli, some green cabbage and some seasoning. I don't know if it's going to be any good though. Garam masala and turmeric and I accidentally dropped loads of paprika in. I was literally scraping it back out quick before it got to the oil. So hopefully it's not too uh, paprika -y. Izzy says she's well enough to go back to college tomorrow, so that's good. I've got a really busy three days coming up. It's just going to be non-stop. It involves three different bands. <laughs> to just check then. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this. Could you please give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos from me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!